A database can be summarily described as a repository for data. This makes clear that building databases is really a continuation of a human activity that has existed since writing began. It can be applied to the result of any bookkeeping or recording activity that occurred long before the advent of the computer era. However, this description is too vague for some of our purposes, and we rainy it as we go along. The creation of a database is required by the operation of an enterprise. We use the term enterprise to designate a variety of endeavors that range from an airline, a bank, or manufacturing company to a stamp collection, or keeping track of people to whom you want to write New Year cards. Throughout this video training we at iChronicles.com use a running example that deals with the database of real-life modeling. So let's talk about database management systems. A database management system is an aggregate of data, hardware, software, and users that helps an enterprise manage its operational data. The main function of a database management system is to provide ESOT and reliable methods of data retrieval to many users. Most database management systems deal with several users who try simultaneously to access several data items and, frequently, the same data item. Users interact with database systems through query languages. The query language of a database management system has two broad tasks. To deny the data structures that serve as receptacles for the data of the database, and to allow the speedy retrieval and mode. Accordingly, we distinguish between two components of a query language. The data donation component and the data manipulation component. The main tasks of data manipulation are data retrieval and data update. Data retrieval entails obtaining data stored in the database. At iChronicles.com, we are going to be teaching core database management systems.